time to meet your new replacement, Beep. This is Coach. He even has his own catchphrase. He's so much better than you, Beep. Basket review for the PlayStation VR. Let's begin! First up, let's take a look at the gameplay. In Basket, you take the form of a basketball hoop and must position yourself so that when basketballs are thrown towards you, they go through your hoop. There are two game modes. The first is called Levels. There are 20 stages for you to complete. As you progress, new balls are thrown at you that all have different gameplay effects. These include rugby balls, which are slightly smaller, bowling balls that you can't let touch the rim of your hoop, otherwise it is game over. With fireballs you need to catch them three times in a row to set your hoop on fire, which grants a score bonus, golden balls that grant a score bonus, the hoop itself can get wider, and a slow down time ball, which obviously comes in very handy. Each time you successfully net a ball, you get a combo going. You'll want to keep the combo going too, because there are three ranks to earn in each level, and these go towards unlocking the next level. To help increase your score even more, you can aim to get the ball to go through the centre of your hoop, which grants extra points, and you can also try to balance a ball on your hoop momentarily for extra points. Doing this feels amazing when you pull it off. You will need to learn to do both if you are aiming to get all gold ranks on all the stages. Every so often you will get a bonus level appear. You have no control over what score bonus you get, but it is a bit of fun, especially if you're finding a score rank hard to get. The other mode is called Arcade Mode. In this mode you must try and get the best score possible before the timer runs out. Getting a big score will display your name on the online leaderboards. There is also a help page, which explains how all the scoring works. Now let's take a look at how immersive this game is. Everything is very crisp and clear, and the depth is amazing. You always know exactly where you are in the world, and it is 100% your fault each time you miss a basketball. The ball physics are amazing, and you can really see them properly in slow motion. A basketball hoop named Coach is your teacher, and will guide you through the levels. His humour is hit or miss, and is aimed towards a younger audience. It's gonna be a hard training. There will be sweat and blood. Follow my lead, you'll become the best hoop ever. He can be quite annoying, as he shouts the same dialogue at you all the time, such as swish. This is a gameplay element though, as you get a swish for netting a ball in the centre of your hoop. You really don't have time to read the text that informs you that you have got a swish or any other boost, so it is kind of necessary that he says it. The music is very upbeat, and I actually found myself getting into a rhythm with it, but only for the first 20 minutes or so. After that, it becomes very repetitive, as it is the only music track played. Combo. The worst part is there is no options to change audio settings. You'll be listening to the same music and coach voiceovers each time you play. Now let's take a look at the setup and what controllers the game supports. I played this game in a standing position just over 2 meters away from the camera. The head tracking is perfect and the game did not give me motion sickness. You absolutely have to stand up for this game, you won't succeed at all sitting down. It is also quite physically demanding, you really are moving around all over the place. This game is played entirely with the headset. Now let's take a look at the length of the game and what trophies come with it. It took me just over 2 hours to complete the final stage. This could change drastically depending on how good you are at the game. One of the last levels are incredibly hard because the balls launch at you very quickly. I actually went back to previous stages to practice. Although there isn't a lot of stages in the game, the trophies do make up for it, if you are a trophy hunter of course. In total there are 22 trophies that can be achieved, and there is a platinum. There is 6 bronze, 8 silver, 7 gold, and 1 platinum. I had 54% of the trophies when I reached the final stage. You all have to get good at the game to get the platinum, as one of the trophies is for getting gold rank on all the levels. There are some for catching a total number of basketballs, one is for 5000, but honestly, it shouldn't take you that long if you are aiming for the gold rank in the stages. And now it's time for the verdict. Much like Frog that I reviewed recently, this one is aimed more towards a younger audience. However, I do picture it being played by adults at parties 
and everyone having fun. The body movements you make whilst playing will surely get a laugh. The gameplay does also have a bit of depth to it, considering you can get more points for getting a perfect dunk through the centre of the hoop, and also for balancing a ball briefly. The game will take a little while to master. If you do get frustrated with games easily, it is not for you, because the bowling balls can become quite annoying, as colliding with one is an instant fail and restart. I do feel the price point is quite high for the amount of content, if you are not a trophy hunter, and you are not bothered about getting the best rank in each level. I really did enjoy becoming better at the game, and it does have an addictive element, so much so that I am happy to say that I did play to master it, and I am the number one basketball hoop in the world on the online leaderboards. Overall it has solid, fun gameplay, and I didn't run into any bugs whatsoever, during my time being one of my lifelong dreams, a basketball hoop. I give Basket a score of 7 out of 10. Swish. 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 I certainly never thought I'd be a basketball hoop in my lifetime. Check out my saved livestream to see my first impressions on the game. If you enjoyed this review and found it helpful, please give me and beep a thumbs up.